Terminator is a movie that holds a special place in my heart. It's the movie that got me interested in filmmaking, and it's a movie that I have studied extensively over the years. I've always been fascinated by the movie's blend of genres, its memorable characters, and its thrilling action set pieces. As a fan of the franchise, I'm excited to revisit each movie and see how they hold up today. In this retrospective, I'll be examining each movie in the franchise through a critical lens, but I will also be approaching them as a fan. I'll be looking at what makes each movie great, but I will also be examining their flaws and how they fit into the larger narrative of the franchise. I hope that this retrospective will be an engaging and informative look at one of the most iconic franchises in sci-fi cinema. Terminator is a science fiction action movie that was released in 1984. The movie was directed by James Cameron and stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, and Michael Bean. The movie's plot revolves around a cyborg assassin, the Terminator, who is sent back in time to kill Sarah Connor, a woman who is destined to give birth to the leader of the human resistance against the machines in the future. The movie opens with a scene set in the year 2029, where the world is in a state of war between humans and machines. The machines have gained control of the world and the humans are on the brink of defeat. In a last ditch effort, the humans send a soldier named Kyle Reese back in time to protect Sarah Connor from the Terminator. The movie then shifts to the present day where Sarah Connor is a waitress living a mundane life. The Terminator arrives in Los Angeles and begins his mission to kill Sarah. Kyle Reese also arrives in Los Angeles and begins his mission to protect Sarah. The rest of the movie follows the three in one big chase sequence as they try to outmaneuver each other. The Terminator is a relentless killing machine that is programmed to complete his mission at all costs. He is a character that is both terrifying and fascinating. Arnold Schwarzenegger's portrayal of the Terminator is iconic, with his deadpan delivery of lines like, I'll be back, becoming a pop culture phenomenon. The Terminator is a character that is shrouded in mystery, and we don't know much about it. At least in this movie, yet for now we know he is a badass and a dangerous killing machine. We then have Sarah Connor, whose character undergoes a significant transformation throughout the movie. She starts off as a timid waitress, but transforms into a strong and capable fighter by the end of the movie. Linda Hamilton's performance as Sarah Connor is excellent, and she brings a sense of vulnerability and strength to the character. Kyle Reese is a sympathetic character, and his love story with Sarah Connor adds an emotional depth to the movie. Michael Bean's portrayal of Kyle Reese is sympathetic and emotional. The chemistry between Bean and Hamilton is palpable, and the relationship is one of the highlights of the movie. And of course, we can't forget to mention Skynet, the artificial intelligence system that becomes self-aware and launches a nuclear attack on humanity, leading to the war between humans and machines. Skynet is a central element of the Terminator franchise, and its presence looms large over the entire series. Its creation and subsequent rebellion against humanity raises important questions about the dangers of technology and the ethics of artificial intelligence. Skynet's role in the franchise is a testament to the power of science fiction storytelling to explore complex themes and ideas which is explored even more in the later movies. The action set pieces in Terminator are some of the best in science fiction cinema. The Terminator's relentless pursuit of Sarah Connor creates tension and suspense throughout the movie. The car chase scene where the Terminator pursues Sarah and Kyle on a motorcycle is a standout moment. The scene is expertly choreographed and the use of practical effects makes it all the more impressive. The climax of the movie where Sarah Connor faces off against the Terminator in a factory is a thrilling and satisfying conclusion. The scene is a masterclass in action filmmaking, with Cameron using every trick in the book to create a sense of tension and excitement. The music in Terminator is also a standout element. Brad Fidel's score is an integral part of the movie's legacy. The movie's main theme with its pulsing electronic beat has become synonymous with the Terminator franchise. The music adds to the movie's tense and foreboding atmosphere. The use of synthesizers and electronic instruments gives the music a futuristic feel that perfectly complements the movie's sci-fi elements. The acting in Terminator is excellent across the board. Arnold Schwarzenegger's performance as the Terminator is a masterclass in physical acting. 
with his imposing presence and robotic movements creating a sense of menace. Linda Hamilton's transformation from a meek waitress to a hardened warrior is believable and compelling. Michael Bean's portrayal of Kyle Reese is sympathetic and emotional. The supporting cast, including Paul Winfield and Lance Henriksen, also deliver strong performances. While Terminator is a classic science fiction movie that has had a significant impact on the genre, it's not without its flaws. Personally, I found the movie's slow pacing in the first act to be a deliberate choice that builds tension and sets up the story. However, I can see how some may find it tedious and uninteresting. For example, the scene where Sarah Connor is working at the diner felt like it dragged on for too long, and I found myself checking my watch. While the movie's main characters are iconic, I would have liked to see more depth beyond their archetypes. This lack of character development left me feeling unsatisfied, as I wanted to know more about their motivations and backstories. For instance, I would have liked to see more of Kyle Reese's experiences in the future war against the machines, which would have added more depth to his character. Additionally, while the movie's special effects are impressive for its time, they may not hold up to modern standards. For example, the stop motion animation used for the Terminator's endoskeleton may look clunky and unrealistic to modern viewers. Despite these criticisms, Terminator's legacy in cinema is significant, and as a fan of the franchise, I can see its influence in many other science fiction movies. Its success led to a franchise that has spanned multiple sequels, spin-offs, and a television series. The movie's influence can be seen in countless other science fiction movies, with its time travel plot and killer robot antagonist becoming a staple of the genre. The movie's impact on pop culture is also significant, with its catchphrases and iconic imagery becoming part of the cultural lexicon. One of the things that makes Terminator such a great movie is its ability to blend different genres seamlessly. The movie is part sci-fi, part action, part horror, and part romance. The movie's ability to balance these different elements is a testament to James Cameron's skill as a filmmaker. The movie's blend of genres has also influenced many other movies in the years since its release. Another thing that makes Terminator such a great movie is its use of practical effects. The movie was made in the days before CGI and the filmmakers had to rely on practical effects to create the movie's action set pieces. The use of practical effects gives the movie a sense of weight and realism that is often missing from modern movies. The car chase scene in particular is a standout moment that showcases the movie's practical effects. The movie's themes of fate and destiny are also worth noting. The movie's plot revolves around the idea that the future is predetermined and that the characters are powerless to change it. This idea is explored in a way that is both thought-provoking and entertaining. The movie's ending, which sees Sarah Connor driving off into the unknown future, is a powerful moment that leaves the audience with a sense of hope and uncertainty. In conclusion, Terminator is a movie that has had a significant impact on science fiction cinema. Its simple yet effective plot, memorable characters, and thrilling action set pieces make it a must-watch for fans of the genre. The movie's music and acting are also standout elements, its legacy in cinema is significant, and it remains a cultural touchstone for science fiction fans. As a fan of the franchise, I can't recommend it enough. So yeah, that is my review of Terminator, a classic and a true standout in sci-fi action. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscriber button and don't forget to click that bell notification so that way you'll be notified when the next video goes up. The next video, of course, will be on Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I've already got the script written out, I just gotta record my audio and it'll be up. So hopefully you guys look forward to that. Also, be sure to subscribe to my other channels as well, especially Pirate Canvas TV, which is getting a lot of traffic now, which is, of course, me and my girlfriend playing video games together and having fun. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to subscribe to that channel. Anyways, this has been PC, signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.